Thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, markups on, on customer estimate. It's a customer estimate and to show markups. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, QuickBooks. Okay. As you can see here, this is estimate. And you can uh, add markups uh, two different ways. One, you can add columns as separate markups. Or you can add uh, item, line item, uh, as, uh, uh, as one for uh, markup. Okay, so I'm going to show you both, and uh, to go to uh, markup, I will show you from home page. You will see estimate in here, so uh, estimate in here, and customer estimate in here, right? Customer estimate, or, or, the, or from the home page, customer estimate, and in case you don't see this estimate going from here or there, then you need to change your settings or preferences in here. So it's edit, preferences and go to jobs and estimates and under company preferences you will see do you create estimate and just say yes uh, and then and you can also select converting to invoice too uh, and then say okay so that's all you need to do now your estimate so now I'm going to go to estimate okay so in here uh, at the other one I have uh, See markup in here. So this is the one I'm talking about. This is one way. The other way is basically uh, just adding as line item. Okay. So to add line item, that's that's what I'm going to show you first. So you go to item list in here. So in this case, I have two items only. Uh, this is the file is for catering business. So it's for catering service. It's for like uh, charging for a service. You know. Uh, help or whatever or independent contractors so the catering is for service and then you buy food so then you buy food uh, catering is service the other one is non-inventory type you don't track it you basically buy it and then uh, charge a markup on top of that purchases so the catering is is like this catering and then you know catering and uh, rate you, if you have a setup rate one fixed rate and it's our six hundred dollars like this or you can leave it blank so I have six hundred dollars as fixed price here for service and the account you want to select here is food sales or the income account income account so it has to be income account this account is for income account and uh, the other one is purchases so in this case it's purchases and it's set up as non inventory part okay so in this case I have bulbs in here so you want I want to see both cost uh, as expense and also uh, sales price on invoice. Okay, sales price on invoice is seven hundred dollars, and in this case, cost is also seven hundred dollars. Could be different uh, or less. Uh, so in this case, basically, I'm going to use markup. You know, I'm going to charge sales uh, sales price is seven hundred uh, plus markup. So it's basically cost plus markup. Uh, so you know uh, before vendor you don't have to worry about it an expense account is per food purchases you know the cost of goods sold so sales price is of course going to be higher than cost price uh, so you have to figure out you know depending on the markup and in this case the food sales so is still the income account right so if you want to do it from the start go to new and select, uh, select service and uh, then this is one for service and uh, uh, you, you know the cost is different. If you have a cost, you can select the cost too if you want. But in this case, the service type. So uh, I'm not selecting both. And the purchases one is for non-inventory type. So in here, just select non-inventory type, and then just select both like this. So that's how I got it. Getting like this service type. This one side, and the other side is purchases. Uh, on, on both sides cost as well as sales okay and then I have a markup in here as other charts so in here new item just select new and select the other chart other chart like this and in here you can select amount or percentage uh, in this case markup is percentage if you have if you charge fixed hundred dollar markup percentage is this amount or if the percentage 25 percent 20 percent uh, whatever uh, percent then you select um, that 
markup right so in this case I have only a markup if you have multiple markup you can create multiple markup it'd be easy to uh, you know use it as line item you can you can still change it on uh, when you create an estimate but if you just still start as 25 percent as default and the subtotal same thing that's the easy one so new and then select subtotal in here subtotal and just put the uh, you know count or whatever so in here this is how it's set up the subtotal in here like this you know there's nothing in there subtotal very easy one you know just subtotal subtotal like this there's nothing there it's just you know subtotal item so now uh, so that's the one I'm going to show you how to uh, do the estimate uh, using the line item okay so it's the one I'm going to select a customer so this one has no uh, markup column in here so I'm going to use the line item so there's a customer and I'm going to select catering in here and then uh, then markup 25% markup and then subtotal like this and the other one let's say purchases 700 and then select markup and then subtotal so this assumes it's a different rate you know different uh, catering for 25% food 15% something like that uh, so 1625 is still total and if it's just one rate and you can also do it the other way so this, I'm going to delete these lines if it's just one markup rate you know you don't need two subtotals I'm going to delete this one so get the subtotal like 1300 and then then you select markup like this it's still 1625 total right you can save this one now like this okay so that's one way and the other way is you uh, add uh, the markup column in here like this see like this so in order to do that what you need to do is uh, um, normally you will have a retail estimate in here just a template in here uh, you can go from here too you know the template in here so you'll have all these templates just select the real estimate one here it'll take the same place right and then additional customization it will say make a copy well of course you have to make a copy in here and then you know say okay so everything looks okay in here right okay and then say okay so now additional customization so in here you want to add see the markup in here see right now there's no markup just uh, quantity cost no markup in here so you want to select screen as well as to print like this so now you have uh, so you have markup in here right so the quantity uh, you know cost amount and the markup and then total amount plus markup is the total invoice so this is how you have to do it and I have already done one here in here like this one in here the markup right okay in this case it's, it's fairly easy so the select catering and then select markup so you know 25 percent and let's say uh, purchases and I have a table of 15% uh, you know like this okay and then basically this is about it so it will show a markup underneath here and then you save it so in this case your markup it could be you know 25% here 15% there or this could be 25% too if you want so how to set up this markup in here okay I'm gonna save this okay so I'm gonna go to uh, list in here and the one you want is price label here okay so markup in here see okay so the markup in here for catering let's say but these are the two items I have uh, in, in here item list I have only these two so you may have uh, you know more than two so basically just go to build a price label in here right and then create a new one in here let's say new new you know like this okay so catering all right let's say you want to charge you know 25 percent in here for catering you want to charge 25 percent and 
and uh, you want to, it has to be higher higher than your price standard price the standard price is six hundred dollars right so say okay so this is a duplicate one like this right so you have to specify a name what do you want to call it right let's say this one is uh, twenty let's say this is thirty percent one. this as you can see here you know markup is 30 percent on this one so you have to do the same thing for the other one you know just this one and let's say this is 15 percent like that I've already done it so now I'm going to go to the customer estimates in here so right here see and you can select 25 percent in here catering you know like this so now I have 30% too, so you can select the whole bunch in here, one by one. See, so you have a chance to select 30% or 25% now. So you can select multiples, you know, depending on, depending on your clients. Some clients, you may want to start with a mark of 30%, the other one maybe 25 or some other one could be 25 So you can have a multiple uh, price level in here. Okay, so this is how you have to do it. I'm going to just save this and close. Okay, so visit our website. There's our new QuickBooks.com. That's our website. And uh, if you have, uh, and for QBO, uh, you can also visit our new QBO.com. Thank you for watching. Bye.